Well, my talk is about um, uh, the problem uh, of uh, extending uh, uh, the mechanical model of um, uh, two electromagnetic interactions. Uh, this uh, was done in the past, uh, but uh, uh, what I propose is uh, a modification of uh, <coughs> uh, the model uh, which account uh, for proper definition uh, of uh, polarization. Um, I start with the uh, micromorphic continua, as we know uh, the model of Erringen and Suhubi, and uh, uh, you can find uh, uh, this uh, model <coughs> and uh, various applications in the book of Erringen in 1999. Uh, uh, the model uh, is. Uh, <coughs> uh, watch. Uh, blue? This? This one. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, in the, the model uh, uh, is characterized by um, uh, the assumption that uh, uh, the uh, continua is made of particles uh, and these particles have uh, a structure, an internal structure, and this structure is des described by this vector xi. Uh, uh, there we have the reference configuration and the current cur configuration. Uh, this uh, vector uh, gives the position of uh, uh, a point in the microstructure with respect to uh, the center of mass of the particle. Um, uh, the kinematic of this uh, model can be described by uh, the microdeformation tensor, uh, which uh, uh, by which we can uh, obtain uh, some uh, strain measures. Um, the deformation strain measure, uh, the micro deformation uh, strain, and the ryaness, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, which uh, is related to uh, is, uh, the gradient uh, of uh, the micro deformation uh, um, tensor. <coughs> Uh, we have uh, a macro uh, density of mass uh, within uh, uh, this particle, so we can uh, 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 compute uh, the uh, uh, density of mass within uh, the particle by this integral. Uh, we have said uh, uh, we refer the point uh, in the particle with, with respect to the center of mass, so uh, this integral is equal to zero and uh, we can define uh, uh, a micro-inertia. Uh, <coughs> uh, well, uh, the model, uh, um, in, uh, with this model, we can uh, arrive at balance uh, equation uh, for the momentum uh, for uh, uh, the spin uh, inertia and a balance for energy. <coughs> uh, the quantities uh, are defined here. <coughs> Uh, we complete uh, uh, this uh, model uh, by adding uh, some constitutive equation for the stress tensor, uh, the S tensor, which is a symmetric tensor, and the uh, uh, coupled stress tensor. And also uh, we have uh, the flux and uh, the uh, density of uh, <coughs> um, entropy. <coughs> uh, well... Um, we can extend this model to electromagnetic interaction, and this was done by Erringen. Uh, uh, the um, extension is made simply by adding some quantities uh, on the right hand side of the balance equation. In particular, uh, we can add uh, an electromagnetic force uh, beside the mechanical force a couple of electromagnetic force beside the couple of mechanical force, and we can add uh, 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 a power uh, of electromagnetic uh, uh, forces uh, uh, in the balance uh, of energy. <coughs> uh, these quantities can be 
uh, uh, can can have a, a prescribed uh, f- f- formulation uh, which depends on the uh, electromagnetic fields uh, E and uh, B, and in particular they depends on on uh, uh, the uh, polarization and magnetization vectors. <coughs> So we can uh, extend the set of independent uh, variables uh, by adding the uh, electromagnetic field. Uh, we, we, have, uh, we have the uh, electromagnetic, uh, the electric field in the commoving frame, and uh, the magnetic induction. <coughs> uh, so the set of dependent variables uh, uh, is obtained by adding the. Um, uh, polarization and magnetization, uh, so we can uh, uh, give uh, some constitutive equation for these uh, quantities. Obviously, we uh, uh, may uh, we, we uh, must hide, add uh, the Maxwell equation, <coughs> and uh, uh, we modified, as we have said, uh, the balance uh, equation. <coughs> this is what. Uh, 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 was done by Erringen for uh, this uh, electromagnetic interaction. Um, <coughs> a more consistent approach of electromagnetic elasticity can be obtained if we uh, make uh, some simple assumptions. Um, uh, really, we uh, can consider not only uh, the micro density of mass, but we may consider obviously all, also uh, the electric charge which uh, which uh, is uh, uh, in the particle, and uh, we can describe this uh, electric charge by uh, a micro density or a density of charge. Uh, so we can uh, <coughs> uh, evaluate the uh, total charge within the particle. In the next, uh, uh, I am interested in uh, uh, the electric model, so uh, the total charge in the particle will be zero. Uh, um, then we uh, can uh, uh, obtain uh, um, uh, dipole density and a quadrupole density uh, by means of this. Uh, uh, micro density of charge. Uh, well, uh, in the scheme uh, we can uh, now consider the force uh, which is acting within the particle, the electromagnetic force, uh, and uh, its expression is uh, given in a struct for, for a way. Uh, and then we can uh, uh, <coughs> make a computation of this uh, uh, force. Uh, uh, within uh, uh, the particle, so we obtain uh, the force, uh, uh, the electromagnetic force in the continuum. Uh, the expression uh, uh, is, uh, which is obtained uh, uh, is in terms of uh, uh, dipole, uh, dipole and quadrupole, uh, uh, dipole uh, vector and quadrupole tensor. <coughs> Uh, in the same, with the same token, we can uh, uh, obtain uh, the uh, couple of electromagnetic uh, um, forces. Uh, the tensor E is the final idea. Uh, L is the gradient of velocity. Uh, and from uh, this uh, uh, result, we can uh, write explicitly the total polarization and the um, magnetization within uh, uh, the uh, continuum. <coughs> uh, these quantities, uh, I repeat, are given uh, in terms of P and Q. <coughs> uh, the, in, the, the important, qu- um, the important uh, <coughs> fact is uh, the uh, uh, dipole and quadrupole obey uh, uh, an ev- uh, to a couple of evolution equations. Uh, which uh, uh, follows from the definitions. And uh, uh, then we can uh, uh, construct a model in which uh, we add this equation to the balance equation. Uh, equations. The balance equations are formally the same as those we have written before. <coughs> uh, 
uh, a comment uh, on the energy equation, we uh, don't have uh, any additional uh, term in the right hand side of the balance equation of energy, um, uh, practically uh, the electromagnetic interaction uh, is intrinsically uh, given by uh, the constitutive equation for uh, T and S, M, <coughs> etc. Uh, we had the Maxwell equation, uh, which we have written uh, in uh, uh, some particular <coughs> uh, in Everside uh, Lorentz units. <coughs> um, and uh, uh, we must add the uh, constitutive equation to complete uh, uh, the model. Uh, uh, I <coughs> Um, I spent some um, uh, words uh, about the general constitutive setting, which uh, I do not consider in uh, uh, the, the, following, the following part of my talk. Um, we can, in general, um, uh, account for dissipative effects uh, um, in the uh, medium. These uh, dissipative effects uh, uh, can be uh, described by... Uh, uh, internal variables with uh, uh, evolution equation, equations. Uh, one uh, um, uh, inter inter internal variable is uh, the tensor omega, which is a, a symmetric tensor, uh, which in some sense describes <coughs> the uh, dissip dissipative effects due to polarization, and uh, uh, a vector k, uh, which uh, uh, um, account for dissipative effects due to <coughs> uh, thermal effects. <coughs> uh, well, uh, the uh, procedure is uh, standard. We uh, uh, consider these, uh, the, the equation in the material form. Uh, we uh, uh, take uh, the energy balance and uh, consider the um, uh, second principle of uh, thermodynamics to obtain a clausus duem inequality and uh, uh, from this inequality we can uh, write the constitutive uh, uh, assumption if we give uh, uh, an expression, uh, a general expression from the <coughs> um, um, uh, free energy. <coughs> Uh, the constitutive equation in this case uh, are those uh, uh, related to the tensions uh, which I uh, written in the material uh, form. A residual dissipative inequality uh, is obtained as uh, a result. <coughs> well, uh, this is uh, the model. Um, uh, I uh, want to apply uh, now this uh, model uh, to ferroelectrics. Uh, is a, a natural uh, um, uh, application of uh, this model. Um, what is uh, uh, ferroelectric in my in my description here? Uh, I consider a ferroelectric phase uh, which uh, have uh, a net polarization uh, is initial uh, polarization in a configuration uh, lambda o. Um, <coughs> uh, which is strain free and uh, I start uh, uh, with the evolution equation for dipole and quadrupole but th this procedure uh, is uh, uh, extended to all the equation uh, of, the, uh, of the, our model the balance equation the uh, um, uh, Maxwell equations <coughs> uh, we have uh, uh, a net polarization and uh, so we have uh, a vector P0 <coughs> uh, of uh, which describes this polarization and the configuration initial configuration <coughs> and we uh, uh, consider uh, uh, a superposite fields uh, P1 Q1 uh, the evolution equation in material form are these <coughs> um, and uh, uh, we go back to the current uh, configuration to obtain uh, the evolution equation uh, in this form. Uh, P prime is uh, 
um, the superposed field, the incremental field, we can, we can say. <coughs> uh, well, uh, uh, to obtain a more simple uh, <coughs> model, uh, we uh, now give, uh, let's, uh, we linearize the, the model, and in particular consider the m micropolar case. <coughs> Uh, the linearization implies that uh, we can uh, describe the macro-definition tensor uh, using uh, the micro-rotation uh, tensor, uh, phi. Uh, these uh, are the <coughs> uh, quantity I've defined uh, uh, before, the strain, the strains, uh, the strain measures. And uh, we obtain these uh, strain measures. <coughs> um, the micropolar assumption implied that uh, the micro-rotation micro tensor is uh, skew-symmetric. We have uh, so an axial vector phi, uh, which is the um, uh, micro-rotation vector. The evolution equation can be integrated. In this uh, case, we obtain, uh, we obtain uh, uh, um, dipole and uh, quadrupole uh, of the incremental field. <laughs> And uh, these uh, are the balance uh, equation and the Maxwell equation for the incremental fields. Uh, these are some definition uh, within uh, this uh, equation. We have uh, balance of momentum, balance of spin, and the uh, equation, uh, the Maxwell equation. <coughs> Here we done. Uh, not to consider uh, thermal effects, uh, and uh, we stop uh, here. We uh, have a constitutive uh, assumption, and now we can uh, say that, that uh, we have uh, the stress tensor and the couple stress, which uh, <coughs> can be given as function of only these quantities. Um, uh, that is uh, the uh, strain, uh, the um, micro, um, <coughs> micro rotation vector, and its gradient. <coughs> well, uh, the total incremental polarization can be written in the, this form. And uh, now we can uh, compare the present model with uh, some models uh, uh, which uh, appeared in the literature uh, about uh, the ferroelectric uh, uh, model. Uh, one model uh, which uh, has been applied uh, <coughs> Uh, successfully is that of uh, Mogen and Pouget uh, of 1980 <coughs> and uh, in that model we have an incremental polarization and a balance equation for polarization <coughs> uh, the constitutive uh, uh, dependence uh, is on uh, the polarization and on the gradient of polarization now we uh, uh, can find that uh, this model uh, as a uh, correspondence uh, uh, to uh, the present uh, model, the incremental polarization corresponds uh, actually uh, to uh, this uh, quantity, which is uh, simply the variation of uh, polarization, um, uh, in this case uh, phi um, <coughs> um, is uh, the micro-rotation tensor, uh, phi uh, <coughs> times p <coughs> gives uh, simply the variation of the, uh, the polarization due to a micro-rotation, which is uh, the micro-motion in this case. <coughs> um, the balance equation for polarization corresponds to the balance equation for spin, and the constitutive dependence uh, correspond to the dependence on, on the, the uh, micro rotation vector and uh, its gradient. <coughs> now, uh, also uh, some comments uh, about uh, this uh, expression of polarization. Uh, we have uh, Q, uh, the, tab, mm, the quadrupole in the <coughs> initial configuration. If Q is uh, uh, different from zero, 
uh, we can account uh, by this model uh, for the ferroelectric effects. We have uh, a polarization which arise uh, uh, from uh, the strain uh, gradient in some sense. Uh, this uh, is the micropolar uh, case which is uh, more simple than the more general uh, um, case. Uh, <coughs> um, well, uh, another application uh, I uh, want to solve a simple problem. Um, to obtain, the, to obtain uh, some uh, uh, result, result uh, which may be interesting. Uh, I consider a thin dielectric uh, layer. <coughs> uh, we assume this uh, is isotropic. Uh, we assume uh, uh, a micropolar dielectric uh, <coughs> continuum. <coughs> and uh, uh, we assume uh, there is a, a, a potential drop uh, between the two surfaces, the two boundaries of this uh, uh, thin uh, layer. <coughs> and uh, um, uh, consider the one dimensional problem. Uh, the one dimension is uh, the transverse uh, uh, the dimension of this uh, layer. <coughs> We write uh, a constitutive uh, equation uh, for the isotropic case. Uh, we have a, a, a linear expression for this uh, constitutive equation. Uh, we treat uh, a static uh, a problem, uh, so we have uh, an electric field which can be given by a potential phi. And we uh, consider boundary conditions uh, which may be uh, more general as possible. Uh, we uh, have uh, uh, no couple, uh, 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 no uh, non traction or couple on the surface. We have uh, instead uh, um, a density of charge uh, on uh, the two boundaries. <coughs> Well, we solve the problem. Uh, now, firstly, uh, I solve without consider quadrupoles, uh, neglect quadrupoles, uh, and see what uh, we obtain. Uh, the result uh, uh, for the uh, electric potential um, uh, tell us that we have a, a uniform field within uh, the layer. <coughs> uh, an interesting result uh, is that uh, uh, the uh, the formation uh, uh, um, gives uh, <coughs> a strain which is proportional to the square of the electric field, and this is a, a well-known uh, phenomenon: uh, the electrostriction, a strain which is proportional to the square of the electro, uh, electric field, and this model can uh, describe this. Effect, but uh, additional <coughs> uh, important consequences are on the polarization. We uh, have uh, the polarization uh, obtained uh, from this uh, model, um, and uh, we have the surface charge density which we obtained from the boundary condition. We can. Uh, um, um, obtain uh, the electric capacitance, which is the, uh, the rate uh, of uh, W with respect to the uh, uh, potential drop, <coughs> and uh, see that uh, uh, the result we obtained um, <coughs> uh, seems uh, uh, to, um, to have uh, uh, an anomalous behavior, which was uh <coughs> Uh, observed uh, many years ago by Mead. Uh, Mead uh, uh, makes, uh, may, uh, made some measures of uh, uh, capacitance. The reciprocal of capacitance is here uh, uh, sketched. <coughs> uh, this is uh, uh, simply <coughs> A qualitative picture of the, his results. Uh, this uh, strike line uh, is uh, uh, the classical result, uh, and these dots uh, are uh, the experimental uh, measures. We have, uh, in uh, some sense, uh, 
uh, reciprocal uh, um, uh, capacitance, electric capacitance, which is greater uh, than uh, the classical one. And this uh, is uh, uh, um, an effect which uh, was uh, um, uh, found uh, for uh, a thin uh, the electric layer, uh, we speak about uh, uh, nanometers uh, in uh, the thickness of this. Uh. Okay. Well, <clears throat> uh, these are the result uh, with our model. Uh, we have uh, uh, <clears throat> the reciprocal of capacitance, and the dot line is uh, uh, the uh, result uh, which we obtain uh, uh, for the model without um, uh, quadruples. Uh, the dashed lines uh, is obtained um, if we consider also the uh, quadruples. Um, <coughs> with respect to the problem of uh, solution with quadruples, so we have uh, a difference with respect to the previous result, we have a potential which now gives an electric field which is not a uniform electric field. We have a distortion of the electric field within the layer. X1 is the transverse coordinate. These are the result for phi, the result for uh, uh, u, and uh, uh, then uh, the strain, uh, which is uh, this term. Well, I conclude with some figures, uh, which uh, uh, are, uh, this is the strain uh, uh, with, uh, versus the uh, thickness of uh, the layer, uh, respectively uh, dots uh, for uh, mm, absence of quadruples uh, and uh, the other curve for quadruples and this uh, is uh, the polarization which uh, uh, I have shown before in the, uh, this case. Well, thank you for the attention. This is the simplest model uh, which I can uh, uh, consider. Mm, I, I've uh, written the, uh, the simplest uh, model. Clear, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, I, it's a small comment also, but it could be interesting for you to uh, compare the constitutive equations with those also for the linear case uh, in the works of Julian and Tom Pakov. If you wish, I send you then the, the article. And also, uh, but I guess you probably, uh, uh, for me it would be very interesting if you could say, if you are aware of Kelvin's medium, what are the differences, or what is the similar of this, uh, uh, what are the similarities between Kelvin's medium and this medium? Kelvin's medium used for a mechanical medium, but his analogies with uh, non thermometric uh, 
uh, insulator, a particular article insulator, huh? and the spin plays the role of magnetization, mechanical spin. Oh. But, uh, but I, 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 I have not treated this. this. You for me, you me. I don't, oh, I, I don't know. I don't uh, uh, consider this. Uh, uh, I can there compare. But here, B is polar, and there uh, is the axial vector because Yes, yes. So, Put the clauses do and inequality back that you had. I just uh, seeing it. Uh, it's close to it. And the independent variables of all of your constitutive equations are in C, the same as C, the independent variables. Independent variables are all there. Omega and K. Uh, uh, uh. Which uh, uh, these uh, are internal variable which uh, 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 obey this uh, evolution equation. This is only uh, to describe, in some sense, uh, uh, dissipation. Oh. It, this is one of uh, uh, the methods uh, which okay. one can I, uh, describe. I, got it now. I, I didn't see it before. Okay. All right, any other questions? Right. I think we are ready for a coffee break. Okay.